Welcome back to Keto Cooking. I'm Tom. I'd like to take the opportunity to thank all of the subscribers. Uh, quite frankly, I didn't think I'd make it this far with it. But I do appreciate it, and I really, really, really am enthused about how many people have subscribed and how nice everybody is. It's uh, actually, actually a nice feeling. Okay, so stay tuned and uh, watch some more of Keto Cooking. Good morning. Nice basil plant I picked up today at Sprouts. I'll be using this today in today's application because I'm going to be making a nice big pot of tomato sauce. Uh, today I replenish all my stuff that I use throughout the week. I'm going to be using some of that garlic there. And this jar back here is my fresh parsley that I use. I use parsley a lot, not only just for a garnish, but um, it's, it's really healthy for you. Uh, if you just eat it, you don't have to eat a lot of it. Uh, and what I do is I'll cut up that new fresh parsley there. I'll dry it and it'll go in, into the can. Now, this right here is another Tommy Spice type of thing. But what I did was this one here is, this is just salt, pepper, granulated garlic, granulated onion, and some smoked paprika. Now it's all the same. A tablespoon of each that it's in there and I just keep adding to it uh, versus my Tommy Spice. My Tommy Spice has a little bit of other. It has sage. Uh, if you look at, I believe, video 13, I make uh, I make it quite a few times there. Um, today in the sauce, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using, this is the, the, the from the rib, the riblets that I call them. This is the top part of the, uh, the spare rib. Uh, that I trimmed off and I will be roasting this in the oven partially and then finishing off up into the sauce. We will probably be eating this tonight for dinner but I'm making a sauce for the week and uh, basically uh, we'll take it out, uh, cool it down real good, I will put it in some bags and we will freeze it portioned out and we'll use it in different applications. I want to shout out to everybody who liked and subscribed to my channel. It's uh, very humbling and very nice to have some nice remarks that were uh, said and I, I try to reciprocate by either sending out a remark uh, and also uh, subscribing to the channel. I'm telling you there's some there is some great 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 people out there that are doing this keto lifestyle. Yeah, Even if they're not keto uh, some of it low carb but, but some of the food and the passion that people have it's it's remarkable. Um, I enjoy it very much. I don't watch regular TV anymore. Basically, I watch YouTube and I watch everybody out there. A lot of great people. Great, great people. Very nice. And I'm happy, I'm happy uh, to, to be doing this. Riblets are getting ready to go into a 400 degree oven for about 20, 25 minutes. I'll put these in side by side. Now, they are salt, pepper. A little bit of onion, a little bit of garlic, and smoked paprika on there. It'll be going in there. Next, I will be taking the stems off, and I'll be chopping, chopping up this parsley here. And what I'll do is I'll put this on a pan, and while the oven's on, I'll just leave it on top of the oven just to dry it a little bit. Don't want to cook it, uh, and take it from there. Now, the basil I'll be using today with the sauce. Okay, and the rest of my ingredients. The smaller tray of riblets are done. And now I'll be transporting them into the sauce. I already have some other ones in. So I'll be putting them in. Let them then cook down. Boy, they're going to give some nice, beautiful flavor to this sauce. Now we don't need pasta anymore, but there's other applications that we can use it with. Um, I will be making some eggplant that I cut up, very small. I'm going to be roasting these also in the oven. But I'm going to be using some olive oil and Parmesan cheese just to crisp them up. And we'll have them for dinner tonight along with some of the uh, pork ribs. Okay, sliced and little sticks. Eggplant, 
olive oil, parmesan, tommy spice, and some sprinkled basil. Dried basil over the top of it. That's going to go into the oven until golden. And that's going to be a little side dish for us today. Hey, today's dinner turned out to be a, a home run. After going through my refrigerator, I discovered I still had two Japanese eggplant left. So what I did was I matchstick them. I cut them up, sliced them, put them into matchsticks. And I did them with some olive oil and also with some uh, Parmesan cheese. Made them into a little parm. And these are the riblets that I had. Now these just, I just did cook these in the oven with some spices and a little bit of a vinegar base to it. But that's my Saturday afternoon dinner.